channel and I'm feeling much better today. Yesterday was a bad day, <laughs> real bad day. I woke up with a stomach bug, but thankfully it is gone, magically. It was like one of those 24 hour ones. Um, but also my back was sore, <laughs> what's new? And yeah, today I woke up, felt a bit better and I thought we would just film. Don't really know what we're filming, to be honest. I've got some new makeup in front of me. We'll be using some old makeup. Let's just put makeup on and enjoy the process of putting makeup on. You know? Sorry if you can hear that absurdly loud humming noise outside. What can you do? And let's just stop fanning around and get on with it. Here's my bare face. Also, put in some of my clip-in hair extensions and kind of forgot how absolutely fabulous they make me feel because it makes me look like I have hair. Anyway, the first product I am going to use is new. I got a little package from e.l.f. and this intrigued me and then I do have a primer as well but I actually don't think I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to use this steel one that I've still not got around to using. But first of all, I want to try the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. This is SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturiser Universal Tint. <laughs> Short name. Let's have a look. Ooh. I like the packaging. It's very pretty. And um, what colour is this? Oh, it is like skin tone colour. Kind of my skin tone, which is good. But it does say it will work for like every skin tone, so I don't know. Why don't we just throw it on and see what happens. I'm just gonna blob it onto my hands. Oh, it's horrible. Just because it feels like I'm rubbing foundation in with my fingers. I don't think I've ever used e.l.f. before, to be honest. And I've certainly never used e.l.f. skincare. Um, but I do like SPF 50. So we all got to wear our SPF, even in Scotland, where there is no sun. Sun does not exist. That's definitely like coloured my skin. Um, but that that looks nice. It's got a little bit of radiance to it, doesn't it? No? Yeah? No? Don't feel like I need the Stila one now. We'll save that for another first impressions. Maybe for my Stila video that I really want to do, but still haven't done. <laughs> it's me. So the foundation I've picked to wear is one that I've actually worn a few times. I've tried it a few times. I've worn it a few times, but I've never played it on my channel, I'm pretty sure. And it is the Wonder 2 Last and Foundation. First of all, I like that name. And secondly, this foundation really blew me out the water when I first tried it. I bought it on Amazon. I'm not sure where else you can buy it. I will link it below, of course. Yes, my links. Thank you. <laughs> um, it, it's really good. My shade is shade 10 Porcelain. And I'm just gonna show you how good this foundation is because I think more people need to know about it. It's quite expensive. It ain't cheap, it's about, um, I don't know, price will be on screen, but from my memory, 24-ish pounds. Um, but Wonder 2 isn't a drugstore brand, although it is sold in Superdrug. But I mean, it ain't cheap, so. How good does my hair look? I mean, I know it doesn't look that great, but it does look so much better than usual. I'm actually waiting on a parcel. DHL keeps sending me updates of the new Huda Neon palette. So I'm hoping that by the time I've got my base completely done, that the Huda palettes will be here and then we can play with them. If not, I do have a couple that are new or, and I've still not played with, so I could use those. But let's go in with the foundation. Really good. Just wait till you see it on. I feel like someone in my building is playing a flute really loudly. I used to play the flute. I was pretty good at the flute, you know. So that's one layer of this foundation and I don't feel like I need a second. It's like a full coverage, but not, I would say more strong medium full. It's not like Maybelline Super Stay quite as masky and it is a bit more kind of pliable and I would just say a bit easier to work with as in is it doesn't set down so matte so quickly and then you can't like 
blend out cream contour and stuff. I don't particularly like cream contouring with Maybelline Superstay foundation on. Um, very excited for the matching concealer that's coming though for that line. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice foundation and I think, I don't really see anyone talk about it. My friend Nicole put me onto this and I'm so glad it's, it's so lush. Let me zoom you in so you can see more. My actual skin. See, it's quite satiny. Not a fart. You know, it's nice, huh? It's not the primer either giving it the radiance because I have used this foundation obviously without that and without any primer because I'm not really a primer kind of gal. So, yeah, very happy with that. So I think I'm going to use my Too Faced concealer again because I still have only used it once and also, ah, uh, where is it, PR firm sent me a shade for contouring with so this will give me another better impression plus I don't have any eye makeup on so it's going to be easier for me to see what actual effect it has without me having eyeshadow on. Blah 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 Melissa, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up. Gonna use Marshmallow under my eyes and this is Warm Sand to Contour. I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade but it's the one I have. The other two shades I got sent um, are the weirdest colours. Like they look like the colour of diarrhea, both of them. Um, which are Latte and Taffy. They're really not great shades. Um, so yeah, this is the ones that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this one under my eyes of course. They also sent me this because I bought Snow, which is also a really good shade, but this is a bit paler. Just want to kind of keep myself really moisturised feeling today. Like I feel like that primer and then that foundation together just added such a lovely moisture to my skin. I'm just kind of wanting to keep that going. And these are really hydrating. The first time I used it, I got that impression. So I'm going now in with warm sand. I think you do have a little bit of playtime with this. So I'm not too worried about putting it all over and then blending it out. Where is my brush? Hello? Hello? Found it. Um, oh, um, oh, um, oh. I do have a second spray. Just remembered it because I need to um, wet my contour brush. I just like to wet my cream contour brush with a setting spray just because I just think it makes it easier to blend stuff out, you know? This is so warm toned. This is more like a bronzer shade on me. I might ask that PR company to send me a couple different shades. I hate asking for stuff from brands because in my experience, once you kind of start a relationship with a brand, like say, Makeup Revolution are one of the brands that say this to me. They're like, if you ever need any products or anything like that, just give us a shout or collection and um, do that to me as well. Just give us a shout and we will send things over to you, no problem. But I'm like, no, I think I'll just buy it. I just feel awkward. Like, oh yeah, please keep sending me free stuff at my request. I don't know, it just feels a bit weird to me. I do think that's blended out beautifully over this um, foundation, but 
my word is at warm tone so I'm gonna need to bring some more um, concealer in in certain areas because I do kind of feel like now I just have a face of Too Faced concealer on and like I could have just used that as my foundation. <laughs> I was going for glowy and lovely and now we're going for cake face in terms of coverage because I do still feel like I've got a glow and a sheen and it's still looking nice but it's so a bit more base products than I was intending on putting on. I, I think my skin still looks fabulous. I'm just gonna go in very lightly with this contour brush, just where I feel like I've taken off a little bit too much, you know? Yeah, I mean, I still feel like my base looks really good. It's just, I feel like I put on a bit much, a bit much. A bit more makeup than I intended to put on, you know. I actually do have a new setting powder. I've got the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I actually bought a new foundation and the concealer in deeper shades than what I already own. Um, so I was going to use those today, and then I thought, no, do you know what? I just want to use something that I've been meaning to show you guys for a while. I've heard really good things about this powder, so I'm excited to try it. It was pretty cheap, but you don't actually get that much product, but, um, and also, if you're in the UK, you do have to wait quite a while. My ColourPop order took two weeks, which is really weird. Usually it comes in eight days, but for some reason it took two weeks, but they did include a liquid lipstick for free, but it's a shade that I think is really gross, so I can't use it, but anyway, let's go in with this powder. I got the, um, yeah, translucent one by the way. I am just gonna go over my eyelids as well. This whole base that I've got on really does need set, like it feels really wet. Yeah, it's a very tacky base that I've got going on, so. Even if I was someone that didn't usually powder my whole face, I'd probably still powder my whole face with this base on because it's just so moist. I actually don't mind the word moist. I don't think it's that bad. My least favorite word in the dictionary is assorted. I hate the word assorted. I feel like I've still got a little bit of sheen to my skin. That powder is really nice. Initially when I put it on, I thought it was changing the colour of my foundation, but I really don't think it has um, at all. Gosh, that noise is really frustrating. I'm just going to slip in though with my Makeup Revolution Skin Finish in the Pleasant. I wasn't lying when I said I wear it every day and that's why I recommended it in my favourites. <laughs> Keep waiting for that annoying buzzing sound to stop and it seems to. So I do have a new setting spray, I got this in my last haul. I haven't used this yet. Oh it looks like it was shake, shaken, shaked, yeah shaked. So it looked like it had separated in the bottle just from looking through. But it is only filled up to here. I don't know if you can see because it actually leaked in my drawer even though I've never opened it or I think I've squirted it in my video. <laughs> there we go. Um, this is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Spray Illuminator, uh, Luminous Setting Spray. <laughs> I'm always trying to read the French. But it does say it's got a little like shake symbol on it. No, the buzzing started up. Let's see what this is like anyway. Wow, 
for a drugstore setting spray that has a gorgeous fine fine mist on it that is almost as fine as the glam glow one i did feel a couple of dots land but i mean my skin is already glowing i shouldn't have put that revolution stuff on first but i mean wow yeah i've heard really good things about this people did comment saying it's a really nice setting spray and from just the spray alone it's a really nice spray and also it smells pretty nice it doesn't smell really like perfumed or anything so that was nice I enjoyed that experience I put a lot on my top is sodden my hair is wet but I like a lot of setting spray when I put on powder it just just makes everything look so much better in my opinion been away for ages waiting for that buzzing to stop but I think I just heard like a big power down like noise whatever that was anyway bronzer <laughs> Um, I've got I got sent this Art Deco one um, in my last haul and I thought I would try this. It's on Beauty Bay, it's about £26, quite expensive, but it is very beautiful. Um, there's like a matte pale shade, a deeper matte shade, and then this one in the middle has like got a little bit of shimmer to it, not very much. I do also have like the single of the middle pan, if that makes any sense. I don't want to like, ding that one. So like... I've got this like full size one of the middle pan, but I think I want to use this one. Save that for another day. It is so beautiful to look at and also the packaging is gorge. So I'm going to focus mainly on this light shade and also the middle shade that's got a bit of shimmer to it. Did I say it was limited edition? It is limited edition, which is why I'm going to get it in now while I know it's still up on Beauty Bay. So if you do like the look of it or if I think it's incredible, for goodness sake, I'm so sorry about the noise outside. It's deeper than I thought it was going to be, but it's not like way too dark for me or anything. That's super pretty. It's got a sheen, but it's not glittery. Yeah, I really like that. It's um, it's nice. It's really smooth, not glittery. It's it's nice. Yeah. Would I pay twenty six pounds for it? I would rather buy Hula Light or Fenty um the Fenty one. What's it called? I don't know that one. Um, but it is very pretty on the skin. It has to be said. Um, I'm just going to use a favourite for contour. Um, I don't actually have a new contour, so I'll just go in with a fave. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Cocoa Contour because I love this palette very, very much. I'm just trying to hold it up. I love it. I'm going to use this shade here because it's just so subtle, so soft, and then maybe I'll use a pinch of that if I'm like, no, Melissa, amp it up. I'm sorry that I'm not talking much while applying this, but that noisy machine's going on and I think it's, I don't know how much it's picking up on camera until I go to edit, but to me it sounds incredibly loud, so I'm like not talking much, but I have used this product before in a video, loved it, absolutely loved it, it's incredible. The tones of the contour in this are phenomenal. If you're fair, medium or deep, they have a contour shade for you. It's just the right undertone for my personal skin. So if you've got very similar skin tone to me, then I think this is fabulous. You, I do have a couple of ways of shades, but I get that with every contour palette. And to be honest, I'm kind of done with buying contour palettes now. I feel like this has completed my collection. If I look over here, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got 22 contour palettes. That does not include any singles that I have. Um, of which I have a few. So I feel like this kind of rounded off my my uh, collection of contour palettes. So 
I don't need any more, but if you are in need of one, I really would recommend that. This, using that, this, while I pick my nose on camera. Right, let me try and find what highlight I want to put on and then we can... Well, I'm probably going to have to have a big break because I really want to play with Huda Neon palettes. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So I was having a gander in my highlight drawer. I've got a lot of new ones. I've got three sitting in front of me um, and I've got more in my drawer. But the one I want to test today is the Jeffree Star Snow Globe. I have used this before, I've used it in a video or two, but there's one in its new Jawbreaker collection that I am pretty tempted by. So I wanna see if I like this formula enough to pay another 30 bucks for that shade. So yeah, let's test this out again. I know it's quite chunky glitter, but I wanna know if I still think it's pretty on the skin. I can't quite remember my feelings on this because I've not reached for it in so long. I'm just gonna use my Morphe highlighting brush and see. Maybe I should wet it. Yeah, I might wet it with this glow spray and see if it settles the glitters a bit because I don't really want glitter all over my skin. But I do still want to see what the formula's like again. So I'm really working the brush in there. I'm currently watching in between like filming breaks the Jen Loves Review live chat why I'm cancelling Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. And I just think this whole Jaclyn Hill thing is insane. Like the formula wise, nuts. That is so pretty. But it is, it has got glitter in it. Like I can see the glitter particles flowing in the air. I don't know if that catches on camera at all. It really reminds me of the Fenty Diamond Bomb highlight formula where it's like got glitter in it very finely milled glitter but I would say the Fenty one is more finely milled glitter than this one um which is why I really like it because I feel like it just gives your skin the wettest look in the world shut up but this is very pretty like undeniably pretty but I can see like little bits of glitter now in my hair and in my brows like I'm glowing and I think I have quite a wet look going on I'm just gonna spray it again with this just to see if that'll like settle the glitter in and stop it floating around so much so I do like this, my skin looks glowy AF, wow. But do I like it enough to spend another 30 bucks? Honestly, probably not. I would rather just get like the, a liquid lipstick or even two. I really like the pink and the red and the like lime green because I would wear that and also I would put it on my eyes. But anyway, what are we on? Blush. Do I have any blush? I think I'm gonna be a bit bougie and go in with my Natasha Denona one um, because this needs to get more air time. I, I don't use it enough. This is such a cute little thing. I do really want the, um, what's it called? The diamond bomb one. Diamond blush and glow or something. But this is very much like my NARS Jewel, the Jewel Intensity Blush, in terms of it's just a really glowing, goddessy kind of blush. It reminds me of like Charlotte Tilbury products, you know, when she just like puts on all these glowing products. I really wish this delivery guy would hurry up. Because I'm now like pretty much finished. I just need to do eyes. And I really don't want to use my Anastasia palette. Today it's just not the colour scheme I'm looking for. And I kind of want to dedicate a whole video just to that palette. Mm. <laughs> I feel like I keep going back to this like really glossy glowy skin. And I'm just adoring it. Probably because it's summer and I'm just feeling like... Yeah, you know, the time's right to be, to be like this. I've been waiting patiently. It was 12.48 last, last check-in. It's 
it's now 10 to 2 and I think I think we should just move on and Huda Neons can hopefully go up another day yeah I'm just I'm not really feeling this this color scheme today I don't know why I just think it was it's a commitment to do like a, a bold look and I'm not really in that mind frame yet um, so I think I might use the Nabla Secret Palette today. Um, I did buy this from requests and also because I thought it looked pretty and I got a lot of requests to then obviously use it in a video. So why don't we just use this? I'm just scared as soon as I start putting this on my eye, the DHL man will ring the bell. I've only swatched this palette in my haul so let's just fire in will we? I'm going to go in with this middle shade down at the bottom. I have no idea how you pronounce that word, so I'm not going to try. Um, and to see, there's quite a lot of kick up in the pan. It is quite dusty. I'm probably going to get some fallout, but let's just go for it. Maybe I'll just do a rounded shape, actually, because I was going to do maybe like a really smoked out shape, but I fancy doing like just a bronze smoky eye um i can notice a huge difference between this and like the mattes in the jouer palette so much i've always found that nabla shadows though are really really pigmented I've never really had any issues with them. I know they're quite hit and miss for some people, like almost like Marmite, like people will say oh, I really love Nabla shadows or they'll really, really dislike them. That's the DHL man. These are so beautiful in person, like so beautiful. I love the packaging so much that was the green one this is the orange one i guess that's what it looks like i've got very shaky hands and then this is the pink one which is coming across all very similar on camera but i swear it's not i'm gonna swatch a couple I love Huda Beauty formula. Like, I think it's so unique. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. I really kind of want to mix a couple. I never usually mix palettes, but maybe just for for fun, just to play, I could mix, mix a couple up. I just put some concealer on my lid over that brown and then put powder on top, same powder I used. I think I might mix the pink and green and then just play with these two and just we'll see what happens, what comes out of it. Could be a shock, could be good, who knows. Right, now we can have a bit more fun without having to use the ABH palette. I do still want to do a look on that, it's just I don't want to go too intense today. So I'm going to grab this green one and grab this first shade here just to see what the pigment is like on that. Also, I don't have a look in mind, so I don't know what's going to happen. I just know I want this color at the front of my eye. It's so pale that it does look neon, but it also kind of looks pastel, if you know what I mean. It's there, it's really showing up. It's just quite light. I wanna go in with this third shade, which looks quite a lot deeper. This looks really promising. They are a bit dusty in the pan.
Also this eye is not liking what I'm doing because I went over powder with more concealer and then more powder. So it ain't looking too happy. Then I'm gonna go into the pink palette and grab the deep purple, like the deepest purple shade and plunk that on the outer corner. This is such a pretty, like, pinky purple. It's so beautiful. Also, I'm really bad at just, like, coming up with looks off the bat, so don't expect greatness. I'm just kind of wanting to test what the formula's like, see if it's like her other palettes. I grabbed that same deep purple, so a really small brush. Run that underneath my eye. So exciting. And then I'm gonna grab this gorgeous like coral up in this top corner. Just to blend out that first shade. that same shade just wrapping it around that outer corner and um, down below this color's kind of like completely covered that first shade I used but I can just go back in and like re-intensify it but I really like this color that it is anyway and then let me grab clean fluffy brush and I'll go back in with that top right green. My eyes are looking bonkers, I love it. I'm just kind of melting them together in the middle where they meet just by swishing things around you know. People online were saying like, oh, those don't even look neon and stuff like that. But in person, they do look a lot more neon. And also, neons aren't actually eye safe, most of the pigments. Um, so that's why it's really hard for brands to actually make neon um, eyeshadows. I'm just gonna go with this pink, this second one. Just trying to work on this pink edge, make it nice and blended. Because although I'm just playing, I do still want it to look nice. I don't really know where this is going. But let's grab this middle purple and put that on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in just now with this um, ColourPop liner in, I don't know if it's like Cursed, it's C-R-S-S-D, it's a neon yellow on my waterline. I don't even really know what's happening myself, so I hope you're not asking yourselves, well, so what are you doing? Because I can't tell you. I'm gonna cut my crease though. I can tell you that much. I'm gonna regret it in half an hour when I'm still doing it, but I just feel like, I feel like a cut crease is the right way to go with this. I 
I've just thrown on this cut crease and so I'm just kind of going over the edges with that bright pink um, just to make sure that that is the deepest part. This eye's like, nah, I don't want to play ball because you put eyeshadow on me and then took it off. It's really struggling. The other eye looks fine. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to go in with this, like, I think that's going to be too dark. This top shade. Like I said, I'm just winging this. Which is near my strong point. I know you're probably thinking that's too similar to that outside shade. Like, why are you putting that on? But I'm gonna go over it with another shade. Once I blend this edge. I'm gonna go over it with this bottom color, which is like a purple to green dual chrome. It's so beautiful. Let me find the right brush for the job. And I'm most deaf gonna wet it. Yes. This is literally stunning. These palettes are so beautiful, <laughs> so beautiful. Your finger is always going to help you get that better um, pigmentation out of like super foiled shadows as well. I'm going to go with that one on my inner corner. Kind of wrapping that round and then I'm going to go over this middle one here. Just on that same brush. Which is like that colour, just metallic and wet. And then, just for good luck, I'll go in with the middle one. See what that's like. Just playing it by ear here. Just using a pinch of Urban Decay Distortion just to make sure my line is quite defined. I've got that all over my eyelid, that's annoying. Okay, I'll just copy it over to the other side and then we'll put on lashes and then lips and then round this thing off because it's, it's been quite, quite a while, I think. A fair whack of time. I'm going to throw on a pair of Huda lashes just because I'm wearing Huda palettes and uh, yeah, I've not worn these, these are Farah, no, Noelle, number 14. Um, my eyeshadow looks terrible, I'm not going to lie, but it's only because I put not very much time into it and I think if I sat down and really attempted to like spend a lot of time on it, I think it would be fine. I need to trim these. No, why? These are beautiful lashes. Yeah, I know it doesn't look great. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Eyeshadow game, what have I been talking about? Gummies, where do you mean? <laughs> um, it's fine. I just wanted to get a feeling for the palettes when I knew they were arriving, so I was really excited. But um, I'll probably sit down and like do a proper, like good look with them. Um, shortly. Oi, those are lush. Why have I never worn these before? 
my word i love these lashes i'm going to wear these every single day for the rest of my life i'm not but i am why do my eyes look so cockeyed i feel like i look really cockeyed right now why is that is that fair probably is what isn't these styles you know <laughs> um lip do i have a new lip not really let's try this this is new um ofra angelis because nude potions at the very back of the drawer and i can't reach it because my battery charge is in front of it so let's use this i've not used this formula um have i i don't think i have i use the old one um i don't know if they reformulated or just repackaged i got no idea so sheer I don't like that it's really sheer um what's that we'll use this sleek lip dose soft matte lip click in the shade say my name and try not to think of a song that goes along with that it's like a pinky nude Right, isn't it? My highlight's still looking good. I just need to use a lip liner to clean it up. Maybe my eyeshadow's making me look cockeyed. <laughs> I put it on so bad. All right, final spray. Just saw my double chin in the mirror there and got a bit of a fright. <clears throat> that setting spray is so lush. I love it. Oh, here we are. We're done. Financially, financially. Finally, so just as the buzzing starts up again, we're done. So I'm just gonna wrap up. I'm not gonna go through all the products. Um, I do really love that Wonder Two foundation. Everything will be linked down below, so you can go and have a, a gander at it. Um, and I really like this on first impressions for a drugstore spray. This has the nicest spray I've ever had from the drugstore. But these palettes, <laughs> they are neon. I mean to a degree they are pretty darn neon like that green on the inner corner is really cool and the pink is obviously very very bright when you mix it with the green it turns into like an orange it's, it's really pretty i want to do definitely like a proper sit down this palette only kind of video you know what i mean like just playing with the palettes maybe one on each eye or just one video dedicated to one of the palettes kind of thing just to get a real feeling for them and do a look that i'm actually like proud of as opposed to one that i'm just like oh i've just thrown this on and i hope hope it looks okay you know what i mean and um, also want to do the abh palette as well there's a lot to do and not much time or energy <laughs> i mean let me know what you think of the products on my face if they are the new products what are you thinking do you like do you not like you know. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, leave me a comment down below because I reply to all of my comments and subscribe because that's a polite thing to do. And I also want to say another massive, 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 massive thank you to my Patreon. They will be on screen beside me very professionally. Not really, but kind of for me. Thank you so much for supporting me and again just a reminder if you do want to sign up to Patreon the link is down below and also I will be doing a small giveaway when I hit 30 Patreons um, and also a big um, kind of special mention to a subscriber Paula Ann, you know what you did for me, thank you so much, it means the world to have your support and it boggles my mind basically. So yeah thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video, bye. So the foundation I've I am um, so wet right now. Uh, hmm. So wet right now.
Not farts, joking, it's just my elbow. 